Babe's Honey Farm was an agricultural icon in the Saanich Peninsula, but now the land is virtually unrecognizable and is up for sale. It is covered in fill from various construction sites. Much of the lush soil has been trucked away, and the locals say the land at Babe's is no longer farmable, and they don't want that to happen again. CTV's Louise Hartland has the story. It takes at least 15 to 20 years to bring the soil back to a capability that it used to be. Yeah. This land used to be rich with organic soil, the former home of Babe's Honey Farm. The land is just dead, and it's a crime that this has happened. Babe sold the land to Mark Pitcher years ago. Neighbors say Pitcher, who is now facing unrelated fraud charges totaling close to a million dollars, started filling the 13-acre farm with waste. It's estimated 10,000 truckloads of fill was dumped here from construction sites around the region, drastically changing the lay of the land. This is an aerial view of Babe's Honey Farm in 2007. Just two years later, this is Babe's. Three small lakes have disappeared, along with countless trees. Farmer Eric Schultz watched truck after truck dump on the land over 18 months from developments in the capital region. What is the benefit of doing that versus? Money, 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 money. That's all it is. That's all it is. Has absolutely nothing else to do with farming or anything like that. It's just greed and then it's a quick buck. Schultz says the proper regulations are in place to limit fill dumping, but no one is enforcing it. It is an important issue for Saanich mayoral candidate David Cubberley. And so there has to be something done to coordinate between municipalities and, and the Land Commission to make sure that we, we have effective monitoring and that people are staying within an approved plan. The Agricultural Land Committee is responsible for setting the rules. It works with municipalities to ensure they are not broken. And when it becomes too much, the Ministry of Agriculture can step in. NDP agriculture critic Lana Poppin says that needs to happen. She says the Minister of Agriculture has had a report from the ALC for more than a year. I want to see a moratorium on fill dumping until that report is released off of the minister's desk. And at that point, we can assess what the problem is. The Minister of Agriculture declined a request for an interview before deadline today. The farm is now a court-ordered sale, listed at $1.35 million. It's, it's devastating. That's... You can almost write that whole thing off, which is uh, just not fair to the rest of the agriculture community. A sad ending for a farm loved by so many. Louise Hartland, CTV News, Saanich.